What is up? So I got my uh, Sap Summit games with Kai today. I unfortunately did lose this set. It was four to six. It was pretty close. But um, yeah. So with losing this set to Kai means I'm out of Sap Summit. It sucks, but you know I, I've been our our team and team tour just got to playoffs, and like I've been having to play a lot of sets, so I'm kind of glad to be out of it. Mainly because best of 11s are... <coughs> oh, they're making me sick right now. Uh, best of 11s are like, they're too much. You know? I think it, like, it was a good idea. We all tried it. And now most of the people in the tournament agree best of 11s are way, way too long. They're too much. Like, a best of, like, I've, I've had best of 9s last 3 hours. So imagine playing a best of 11. Luckily this set didn't take three hours even though we played a lot of games it, it was just because kai and i don't rope we don't spend our whole turn timers but i've played best of nines against people who spend their old turn timers and it, that's when you sit there for three hours but this tournament was honestly it was very much needed i'm i'm super stoked about it i'm excited for it next year um yeah, it was fun um i did better than i expected in the uh, group stage and worse than I expected in bracket but I after the unicorn nerf it kind of hit me pretty hard it kind of ruined my whole game plan of switching between pack 2 and pack 5 like when I was growing a little bored of pack 2 I could switch up to pack 5 or if I just needed like a good mental reset but now like I, I don't think pack 5 is bad it's just not the pack I learned it's so completely different I, I haven't really had time to figure out the new pack five. I tried to pull it out in this set. It did not go well. I think I tried to pull it out once in my set with Marcoto as well. It did not go well. So I, I got to grind that pack before I start pulling it out again. Uh, this game, pretty pretty standard stuff. You know I like drums. I'm a big fan of Mandrill. I think I went Mandrill a few times during this set. But what, what's sick about these two games from the set I'm going to show you is they were angler games. Both games I ended with the unit from his board. He does have some annoying units right now. Though not really any scaler other than snail. But badger is kind of concerning. Though I know how to deal with the badger if I gotta. Now this was a kind of a sick find. Finding this uh, garl with the mandrel level it's one of the best things you can hit if you're leveling a mandrel and we get to win this round that's pretty good i'm gonna have to speed these games up because i'm both these games go deep into late game but yeah now we just take melon could have maybe kept the garl said to not to just because he was good numbers and this game is like i have drums on my board but it's no longer a drum game Get some value out of our melon. Pretty good. Melon is OP after all. Take my triple. Take another triple. I might actually get drawn value out of this turn. Yeah, I take a, a chameleon while I still have this melon. I'm going to try to greed the the drawn stats on these two units. Even going to take a caterpillar. A caterpillar just makes sense. There is a world where I could maybe sell for caterpillar here go for caterpillar three but i'm not a, that big a fan of it into into badger but i at the same time very much do like it when i have um a melon ticking so that, that was like another road i could have taken i think either way is kind of fine no longer need the chameleon but i can still refresh the garl just take the melon, it's tempo, and then it turns into a melon. It's pretty good. Is that I'm gonna cook eagle one more round? Is that or am I gonna pill mandrel? Yeah, I like this pill mandrel. Just take my melon now. You can also buy the eagle. Then I get a chance at new tier fives to show up for my drum to buff. Hopefully we can win this round with this positioning. Oh, but there's a switch up. A whale deer out of nowhere. Wow, we still tie. That is pretty incredible. 
Did not expect that. Yeah, here I might throw you for a curveball. I'm going to take Lionfish. I know Kai's game plan is going to be like turkey summons, and I need some way to kill the turkey or I'll just lose. So I take Flashlight. I take Lionfish. Chocolate Moza. And I'm just completely setting up to put as many stats on Lionfish as possible. This is why I usually don't go Lionfish. But if you are going to go Lionfish, you need to have as many stats on him as quickly as you can. And like like I predicted, uh, he was going full into turkey summons. Can't win this round. Get our extra drum stats. Kind of greedy. But I just wanted the lionfish to be at 10 when I put him on the board. Now flashlight's going to hit him. Moza's going to hit him. Hit the Moza level. <clears throat> hit a puma as well. Like, this is the ideal lionfish game. Like... This is why he's such a rare take at the same time. Like, I have this is so many concentrated stats I can get on him. Probably like a best case scenario. Freeze the Garl. I really like Garl into a whale board as well. Daily yeah, Lionfish didn't do anything there. Snake was too weak to die. Or he's too weak to kill my Stonefish and die. But that's fine. This whole turn was kind of set up. Get a bunch of stats on our lionfish. Side of uh, the gecko's time is for sure to come. Take foam sword. I do have a puma after all. Maybe I just take Ellie seal honey. The honey is kind of like I was scared in case I rolled into a nothing shop. My seal's just bad, but maybe I could have froze rolled the Ellie seal. And like, I really wanted pancakes, so my lionfish could have gotten another trigger. But, <laughs> but the honey did win us around, so never mind. Everything went all according to plan. Stack that lionfish, gets him to 30. Might we go stack this puma. No, I decided to get one more round of stats, so I at least seal him to sell for the puma. Freeze a toy, freeze an angler. He's got a snake, you know I'll go for an angler. If I'm freezing this angler, I should freeze this pill because he's probably going to keep mammoth. If I hit mammoth, I could just pill mammoth. Yeah, lionfish is going to die. Take everything in the back with him. He's still got a big bus, so we just tie. Get a melon for the lionfish. Seems pretty good. Take a pancake on a puma. Yeah, we got to get our toy in. Toilet paper normally bad into a whale, but we have Puma, so it's fine. We're going to get the equipment off the whale. Take the angler. Get the snake. What you love to see. And then I should just probably end on Pancake on Puma. Puma's most likely staying longer than Moza is. At least at this point in the game when we're both on two. Let's see. Move the whale equipment. One shot the mammoth. Execute the deer. Yeah, that fight's not even close. Uh, I would need Mantis Shrimp 2 to ever do anything. Just take a melon on my snake to help protect him from one snake snipe. Take a melon. He's on lethal. Just try to kill him. Melon's not great. I don't particularly love it. You get a position switch up. Snake hits my lionfish. We just barely don't kill his snake. If our lionfish had the, um... If he had another attack interval, if he had five more attack... Actually, if he only had three more attack, uh, I think we would have won that fight. Yeah, I kind of make a mistake here. I take Toy Gun. I thought it might scam out the deer. That is not how it works with Mammoth. I thought that the toy goes before, so then the deer still wouldn't have a summon because they would try to spawn when the Mammoth dies, but that's not how it works. I to take a random Octo. Just kind of get some extra snipes in. Also eat the steak. I put a lemon on him. I don't really need to, but it's more so if like he keeps that front skunk. 
And if he gets, like, a mushroom on his mammoth, he does not. But yeah, he still gets his deer spawn, so this is pretty bad. So the lionfish does enough damage to clear out the back. Maybe having the toy gun wasn't so bad after all. Now I can just take a lasagna on my lionfish, which gets him to 40 attack. Switch in for a new toy. I, I, I pondered Peanut for a while because I figured he's going to keep his front stake. And it's really a question of is he going to mushroom mammoth or not. And it's if he finds it, he probably would. But he knows I might switch the toilet paper, so there's kind of odds he wouldn't. Also, last round I had front octo, so it might just feed octo. But I decided to go this route. Because this other lionfish also gets to the 10 attack breakpoint from the pancakes. This one pancake goes a long way. It's getting a breakpoint on both these lionfish. And since it's lethal versus lethal, I just take the rice. In case we tie, I'll have more money to find a better toy. Just front to steak. Now that lionfish for sure had enough to kill everything. We'll get there. With with a with a pack one pet, and now it's gonna get a little spoiled. What the other angler target was, but here's this game. Um, uh, let's just start on three. Oh, this is the battle of three. My bad. Guess we could now. We'll we'll look at three so you can see what my tier up choices were. The so tier up. Hit a mole. You know the mole formula. I've said it before. There's a beluga. I'm taking the mole. I wish I had a way to get the activation this turn, but I just don't. It's not possible. We'll for sure have it next turn, though. Bluebird hits mole. Not what I love to see. It does have a lot of rats. And peacocks. Now, if we could have gotten the mole activation, we could have maybe won that round. But we can get the mole activation now. Take a balloon for the gecko and the potential like pangolin pill next turn. It's not great, but with lemur being not as good anymore, it's probably fine. I very much like having my toys on the even interval now. It just helps you set up for Mosasaurus. It's a dog. That's kind of scary. But we're barely going to tie this round. Perfect draw. Now we could rip a tear up. Do I rip another tear up? I don't like ripping multiple, but kind of felt like I needed to. Get a caterpillar. Get a tar. i probably take this tar, right? Yeah, sell bluebird. Take the tar. What I really like about the tar is that I can hopefully start putting stats on it, and then he can be a good salt target. The, the ma my main goal with most tier 4s is to have a salt target. Oh, that blowfish scammed us so hard. If it had sniped the caterpillar, we would have been fine. Pretty unfortunate. Race my caterpillar. Might end up selling this mole. I sell it for the hatching? Probably, yeah. That makes sense. That way I can get more stats on the guy who has the chili. All kind of makes sense. I, I also could very easily pivot with this caterpillar line. Or I could just commit the caterpillar. Sometimes that does become a good choice into like a rabbit board. Yeah, we're not close this turn. Hit the hatching triple in the shop, decided to take it. For the flashlight, I see the other caterpillar, probably thinking about it. Wish I had a pill for this beluga. It would have been useful this turn, because I would have gotten in a bunch of... I would have gotten in that chameleon probably as well, and this caterpillar. But holding this caterpillar is also fine, because I'm at three lives. It just means once turn nine gets here, I'll have the level three caterpillar. Seems pretty good. Good enough, at least. And he is, like, super stacked on one unit. Though that peacock does not have a lot of attack right now, so... Either way, the caterpillar will just copy his largest unit. It's a good threat to have. 
Now it's an 1121, so times have changed. And not even close. We're on one. Got the battle six hearts against potentially the best player in the world. Probably, probably for sure the best player in the world. Decide not to take the beluga pill. I kind of need the his body for now. I take a limit on caterpillar. An important change. Lemon and Eucalyptus now block all damage. They block the full seven, or the full four in Eucalyptus's case. That that will be relevant. That is a very recent change, and I, Lemon kind of got shadow buffed. They only talked about it with Eucalyptus. He gets a shark. It's trying to end me. But our caterpillar gets some value. We also had a good stonefish. Stonefish is a great answer to shark. Chocolate for Octo. Our hatching is basically giving this Octo a monkey buff. It's pretty good. Our Stonefish already has a pretty decent stat injection from a flashlight earlier. But yeah, now Lemon can block Scorps. That's super important. They can also block Dolphin. See, normally this Dolphin kills this Caterpillar through the Lemon, but not anymore. Yeah, he does not get to deny us a large unit like he wanted to. And he for sure, if he had known, I mean, there's nothing he really can do about it. But if it was last patch, he would have won the game there. But it is, unfortunately for him, not last patch. He did obviously didn't know. So that dolphin, he did waste two gold on the dolphin, but I don't think he really makes a huge difference. There's basically just no answer for this Caterpillar anymore, unless he somehow gets level 3 Dolphin, which I don't see happening. Could try to Leopard it, but that's about it. Min value. Stonefish meets his target. As long as Stonefish hits Shark, we are chillin'. Find another chocolate. I, I honestly could have gone for Octo 3 this game, but probably good I didn't. Go another Foam Sword. So I had to just take the level 2 Foam Sword. Like a big surprise. Block the Mongoose. Let's see what this Foam Sword does. But it just kind of like helps deal with him potentially going like Snake Scam. Ends up killing a boar. Garl eats a steak for us. Pretty nice of them. Yep. Stonefish didn't hit Shark, but hit the big unit behind Shark. Fine by me. We got him down to two now. Like I said, I could have very easily had gone for an Octo level three this game. Who would have thunk it? Let's take a lemon on the back T-Rex, only because of like a potential snake on a whale board. Or just like front peacock. With a snake behind. We deal with the stake in the front again. Octo going to town. The stonefish finds his mark. Caterpillar didn't even have to swing. Let's see. Decided to just combine the stonefish. Uh, I rarely ever need level 2 stonefish, but into level 2 shark, it, that is one of its like use cases for sure. Decided to go palm tree. Once again, hoping he doesn't find mushroom on his mammoth. Let's take a shark. I got two stakes. He hasn't went for snake yet. I doubt he's going to with this board. Kind of committed to the boar. So I probably just throw one of these stakes on the T-Rex. Have my own shark in the back for insurance. Yeah, I like this positioning a lot. Somehow the stonefish doesn't kill a shark. At least I have a steak shark that might. Octo removes the melons. We'll lemon caterpillar. We do end up tying from the steak shark. It did matter. Uh, maybe we could have positioned differently though. And somehow won. Decided to just go for the shark level because why not? Decided to go melon on the on the octo now, since I, the odds of him getting a stake are pretty high. 
Next turn, I could level two the shark, even though uh, I probably would level two the shark, sell the T-Rex next turn. That caterpillar did his job. Octo removes all the melons. Yeah, no way that shark's getting there. Yeah, this set was pretty close. It was four to six. We lost, but, you know, if anybody deserves to win this whole thing, it's Kai. He's undoubtedly one of the best, if not the best player in the game. I could only rival him on pack two. Like, he didn't try to pack two mirror me at all this set. And honestly, um, what happened was I beat him... I beat his turtle more than he beat my puppy with turtle. I think our score was four to two, or no, four to three, with uh, pack two versus pack one. But then he pulled out the pack four on me, messed me up, and then I tried to pull out some pack five on his pack four. It did not work out. But yeah, his pack four just as good. That's what that's what makes Kai the best at the game. He can play all the packs pretty proficiently. I I, I think. If you were a nice man, uh, I could hold my own against his pack two. I think he would agree with that. But th that's the reason he didn't. Pulled out the pack four. It's it's one of my least known matchups. Not a lot of good pack four players. But Kai is literally the best pack four player. He's up there. He's up there with like Freets and Sag. Certainly better than them, probably. But yeah, if you liked the video, like the video. Maybe subscribe. Have a good one, everybody.